Hi, we are Gerald Care, and we are transforming healthcare delivery in Africa, beginning with elderly care and beginning in Nigeria. So why elderly care? There's an absence of a structure for medical care for the elderly in Africa. And Gerald Care is using technology to provide that structure and make it possible for Nigerians, wherever they are in the world, to subscribe for regular doctor visits for their parents in Nigeria in the comfort of their homes using the Gerald Care application. They simply download the application, input their parents' details, and make a payment. Immediately, they are matched to a doctor who lives close by, who begins to visit them at home at least once a month, and give us, the children, regular updates wherever we are in the world. We can pay for tests and drugs on our app and deliver to the parents at home. Our focus is the third SDG goal, healthy living and well-being for all ages, and in particular, in our case, for the elderly, especially because they have been neglected hitherto. The reason why we started this business was because a few years ago, in the space of one year, my father had two strokes. However, as is the case for millions out there, all this could have been avoided if they had a medical professional like myself closely monitoring their health. And so my co-founders and I created Gero Care to solve this problem for my father and the millions of Africans across the continent experiencing the same thing. We are glad to say that so far we have over 1,200 subscriptions. In the next two years, we expect that number to hit 25,000, and in five years, 100,000 by maximizing our strategic partnerships. We will measure the efficacy by the increase in life expectancy of a general care patient. We have three offices in Nigeria, over 1,000 subscriptions, three enterprise partnerships, and 750 doctors, over 800 pharmacies across 45 cities. We make money in three ways, our individual plan with monthly client subscriptions, our enterprise plan with partnerships with organizations, and commissions of every other service assessed via our platform. Yes, we have a great product, but we also have a great team led by myself. I've been a medical doctor for the past 16 years. I have a master's in business, for which I graduated with a distinction. Our COO is a neuroscientist, he's a healthcare marketing expert, and he has a PhD. Our CTO has been building software for the past 19 years, and we all strongly believe that the Gerald Care model is the future of primary health care, not just in Nigeria, but all across Africa, converting every home to a primary health care center. We are well on our way to achieving this, but to get there much faster, we're looking to raise $300,000 as equity, debts, or both. So remember, we are a great team providing a scalable solution to a pressing need and making a huge social impact. So we implore you to join us as we redefine healthcare across Africa forever. Thank you very much. Love your passion. Can you tell me uh, a little bit about, uh, in your business model, uh, the, uh, the, the last part that you gave, which was the fact that uh, you take, uh, you know, get commissions on, on things. Do you think that may have some issues with, uh, you know, people using your service because you're getting, you know, money paid for, for additional things? Okay, so what we actually do is aggregate everything the elderly patient needs. So we're the one-stop shop for elderly care, no matter what they need. So we have pharmacies, consumables, physiotherapists, every service you assess via platform. Because we provide it to you at home, we get a service charge for that. So that's the commission. Ordinarily, you would have had to have gone there, but we are bringing it to you. Especially because your sponsor or your child may be in the US and is making payment there for us to deliver to you at home. So it's basically the service charge that is the commission. Fantastic energy, thank you. Um, any identified risk, threats, or obstacles that you have right now that are preventing you from um, implementing? Obviously, you've got impact in your services, but can you just explain a little bit more what, where you stand with obstacles? So the key challenge we face is the issue of trust, because we're a new company, and our subscribers most times are outside the country, and they have to input their parents' home address. So they begin to wonder, I don't know who these guys are. Is this safe enough for me to provide my parents' address? So usually there's a drop-off there. We have to now call and convince them that we're real for them to finally finish the process. But we envisage that if we can create enough brand awareness such that they already know who we are before they get to our platform, it's to make it easier for them to go through that stage. The second is the issue of um, customer education in the sense that most times people focus on curative and you know, episodic care rather than preventive. 
we are focused more on preventive because we catch conditions while they're quite early. We visit them every month. So what will be an emergency in two months or three months, we catch it at an early stage. So they need to understand that though their parents are fine right now, this is the best time to still subscribe to GeroCare.